I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is animal classification and the group of animals we are going to work with today are reptiles. Reptiles. Which I'm going to write up here on the right hand corner so I don't forget what I'm doing. Now I come over to the left and I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line down and leave it floating. Come back to the dot and I'm going to draw a curve line in, curve line down, bring it all the way up and over. Now I come back to the line where I stopped and I draw a curve line up and connect. I come back to the dot and I'm just going to draw a little straight line, little straight line, little straight line, two dots, one, two, two dots right above, one, two. This reptile is a snake. Snake. Okay. Now I come over here towards the right, put a dot, and I'm going to draw a curve line to the left, come back to the dot, curve line to the right. Put a little straight line down on the right, and a little straight line down on the left. Come back to the right, we're going to draw a straight line out, and then we're going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six diagonal lines. Leave them floating. Come over here on the left, we're going to draw a straight line out, and then we're going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six little straight lines again. Starting right here on the left, I bring a straight line in. Starting on the right, bring a straight line in. Little curve line on the left, little curve line on the right. Now we draw another straight line out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Little straight line in, leave it floating. Come on the right, little straight line out. One, two, three, four, five, six little straight lines. Now a straight line up and leave it floating. Come back to the left and we're just going to draw a curve line over, up, curve line back, and connect. Come over here on the left and let's just draw a little curve line. <clears throat> Excuse me, on the left, little curve line on the right. Come up to the top, one, two little straight lines. This is a lizard. Lizard. Okay. Now come back over here to the left, put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line up, over, and connect. Right about here, we're going to draw a big curve line up and down. Come back to this part, this space on the front, little straight line, slightly curved line over, and connect. Now we're going to do a wavy line, mimic the line, and connect. Put a straight diagonal out, straight diagonal in, connect. Come over here, down below, straight line, straight line, up, connect, straight line, straight line, up, connect. Let's do one, two, three curved lines. One, two, three curved lines. Come up the top, one, two dots, little curved line. Starting at the top, we'll do straight, straight, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, connect, straight line, connect, straight line, connect, straight line, connect. Straight line, connect, straight line, connect, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line. This is a turtle. Turtle. Okay? Now we come to the very, very bottom. 
And the first thing I'm going to do is put a dot, and I'm going to draw one, two little curved lines, come back to the dot, straight line out, little curved line up and down, bring this curved line over and up, let's do another curved line underneath, okay? Come back to this space, draw a little curved line down, straight line out and a curved line down because this reptile curve line curve line curve line is in the water now that I've drawn that I can bring this down and I'm going to come over here and add little straight diagonal little straight diagonal little straight diagonal straight line straight line straight line this reptile is an alligator. Okay? Alright. Let's see how we are going to color these in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to color is my space down here with green. So I'm going to fill this in with my regular green, this space, this space with my regular green and this edge right here at the bottom. Then I'm going to take my green and I'm going to start up at the top and every little square every once in a while I'm going to use my dark green. Doesn't have to be the same. That's the thing about animal markings. They can all be different gradations of color. Then I take my yellow green and I color in this space. All of the spaces that I didn't color with my regular green. And I come down and I do these little toenails with light green. Next with my regular green, I come down here and I loop-de-loop -loop this space. I don't want to do it too dark because I don't want to lose my form. Try and stay away from your teeth. We want those to be, kind of be white. We'll bring this all the way down and over. And because he's in water, I'm just going to draw some blue-green lines going across and take my regular blue and lightly loop-de-loop -loop over the top because he is in the water or she could be a sheep alright next I come up to my snake and the first thing I do is I take my brown and I do a zigzag on the inside line and a zigzag on the out bottom line I should say. Then I take my purple and I just add a little dotted line in the middle. Now if you've seen snakes they can have some very beautiful designs on their scales. Once I've done that if you add gray lightly lightly color over all of those colors with gray. Not so dark that you lose your picture. Do it light. Okay? Next, we've got this lizard. So I'm going to take my orange, and they come in all kinds of colors too. And I'm just going to put stripes on his legs, or her legs, and slightly curved lines on the tail, yellow eyes on that space, and then again take your brown and lightly color over all of these other colors. And you will do a better job than I am right this minute. But these are my reptiles. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in.
Okay, here are my reptiles. They are cold-blooded animals. They have dry skin covered with scales or bony plates. Okay, bye-bye.